Welcome back to your regular Saturday morning or whatever day you watch it viewing. Team of the season is finally here. If you're looking to get yourself any coins from the best supplier in town, check out my sponsor, FIFACoinZone.com and use the code Haber to get yourself 5% off. Uh, today we have got how to win Tots Zaniolo, Tots uh, Neres and Tots Suso a lot quicker. I do want to touch upon a few things as well in terms of foot swap deals and whatnot. Uh, but, but welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, before we get into this video, I'm actually quite interested to hear what is your current weekend league standing slash record? Like, what are you? Currently, I am, I think, 9-2. and two. Just want to hear how you guys are doing. Um, but... As you see, we have gone ahead and won ourselves Tot Zaniolo. Took me more games than it ever has before. So it's 15 assists with an Italian in squad battles on min world class. It actually took me three games. Now, it usually takes me one or two. Um, 15 assists would usually take me uh, would usually take me uh, one uh, with a team that's you know relatively good against pretty much a bronze team. Um, and the first team I actually played against was a bronze team, and uh, I won nine nil. I just struggled a little bit more this week. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I didn't even win 9-0. Was this the one? This was after the update, I think. Yeah, this was after the update. So I initially played a bronze team. Um, what I'll do is I'll play a few clips for you now. But uh, initially I played a bronze team and it was a really, really easy team. And then I updated it and I got a very, very unlucky set of uh, set of teams. My worst team was like 82 rated with like 40 chemistry or something. And the rating ones are super, super difficult. If they've got over an 81, 82 rating uh, on world class, it's very difficult. And I struggle a lot. Uh, I think a lot of players do struggle a lot, unfortunately. Uh, the good thing about it, though, is that it took me four games, not three games. Uh, but... That, of course, gets me more points for higher rating in uh, in squad battles. Of course, getting silver one, I think you get yourself a foot swap deals player for getting a uh, silver one or above. It might be silver three or above, but uh, regardless, uh, you get better packs, more games you play, which is a benefit in my opinion. And, of course, you get Tot Zaniolo for... Uh, for playing and winning and scoring all of those goals. Now, this is actually the team that I actually went into squad battles with. Now, the reason that I went with this team is because it's very similar to my usual team. Usually what my team looks like is this, but I would have Team of the Year Messi and George Best as my cam and striker, as opposed to uh, Giovinco and Balotelli. Giovinco was the main uh, contributor in this setup. Um, he got me 11 assists. Now, I'm not this is not me advocating telling you guys to buy icons at all. Uh, what I recommend you guys do is build a team that is very similar to the team you're most comfortable with. This is the team that I am personally most comfortable with. It's very similar to my usual team. Once you build a team that you're very comfortable with, you'll find it a lot easier to beat players uh, in squad battles. Sorry, beat players, you know what I mean? Beat the AI in squad battles. Um, because you're playing with a team that you're most comfortable with. Now, uh, obviously, luckily, I was able to pack myself a Tots Dumfries, which I'm so happy about because obviously I am market man, so I wouldn't be able to buy him otherwise. Um... But with uh, with with a team that's very similar to your main team, obviously my team is a is a very pay to win team. My my uh, foot champ squad is uh, is is this squad here. This is my foot champ squad. Uh, so as you see, I just replaced um, a couple of players in here with uh, with other players and uh, and played in squad battles with that. Let me quickly go back over to squad battles objectives. Um, and, and I found it a lot easier because of that. And I, I recommend you guys do the same thing. Uh, but this is the team that I actually use now. Uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly uh, remove Neres and Suso so I've got, I can show you guys my custom tactics and, uh, and 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 whatnot. So my custom tactics for this. Press after possession loss with four depth and five width. Fast build up with nine width, uh, nine plays in the box, and uh, and three for corners. Now the reason I go with a super high width on a four one two one two is because in squad battles uh, they don't tend to push into that sort of open space. Um, when I'm playing in foot jumps still like that, I have a much shorter width. But the reason I go with a high width is because the squad battles players don't tend to push into the space that you know foot jumps players would. It's just the way that. Um, that the AI sort of plays plays FIFA. Now I'll go with uh, getting behind, stay forward on both of my attackers, uh, both of my strikers, should I say. Uh, I have stay forward on Giovinco. I have uh, cover wing and get forward for Hullet. And then Matthias should be uh, stay back while attacking and cover wing. Um, then I have cover center, stay back while attacking for Vieira. Stay back while attacking for both Pellas and Dumfries. Um, now this differs a little bit to the way I normally play in foot champions, but the reason I play more wide in squad battles is because I just find it... A tad easy to play a little bit wider in squad battles. I feel like they don't push the space enough 
uh, in squad battles. So that is the team and the custom tactics and whatnot that I've used. Obviously, I know a lot of people don't have the privilege I do to be able to get a team like this. But if you build something similar, uh, well, they're my custom tactics for you guys to, to copy and, uh, and to use. Uh, I highly recommend you guys do so, so because they are very good custom tactics. Um, but that's how I, I got Tot Zaniolo. Uh, in terms of the card itself, actually looks like one of the more usable cards in terms of all the ones that uh, we've had so far. Um, you know, he's got decent pace with decent actual, like, like decent actual uh, pace stats. Usually people have 88 pace, they have like 91 acceleration, like 81 sprint speed, and it's really poorly uh, balanced, but he's actually got really well balanced pace. Um, decent attack positioning, uh, decent finishing, decent shot power, long shots are meh, volleys are poor like quite bad uh penalties are bad but uh vision's great short passing long passing great um his agility is poor but his balance is good uh decent reactions ball control and dribbling um and uh his defensive stats aren't horrible either 74 interceptions is not bad 80 head heading accuracy is decent uh and the marking is not too shabby either now he's six foot one with only 64 jumping but he's got high aggression which means he will over jump plays even with poor jumping i highly recommend a chem style that gives him like a plus 10 jumping though uh if you get him over 70 something uh with a high aggression you will find that he will actually win headers a little bit easier than uh, for example if you're playing a taller player that has less aggression aggression in my opinion is a big stat for winning headers and whatnot now let's talk about this man it is actually david nerez or david nerez actually a very nice looking card he's 5'9 uh 90 stamina uh 95 pace with both 95 pace stats uh, very decent shooting, decent dribbling, incredible agility and balance, uh, great composure, uh, great dribbling, great vision, decent crossing, five-star skills, of course. Uh, he's all round a very good card. In my opinion, actually very, very usable. Uh, and I'm glad EA have given us this card because in my opinion, it's something worth the grind. I would personally grind all week for this card. It's a very sought after, a very worth it card in my personal opinion. Now, to get this card, it's a little bit... They try and trick you and catch you out a little bit in, in comparison to last uh, previous couple of weeks. They say win 10 online single matches using only silver players. Now, in previous weeks, they've had win uh seven online single matches using only i'm oh, sorry using 11 uh super league players which means you get yourself three subs that you could bring on like icons or or ronaldo whatever you've got on the bench that you've got incredible wise on the bench now you actually cannot bring on gold or bronze players or special cards it has to be all silver you don't get any subs on this one unfortunately it has to be all silver so what i've done is i've built my all silver squad and you have to have a silver bench as well if you're going to bring on subs because unfortunately they will not allow you the, you the win if you don't bring on uh silver players now my biggest recommendation for this is to play a wider formation that has decent drop back in terms of uh, you have at least one centimeter that will come back. I'm not saying play drop back. I'm just saying you have at least one centimeter that will come back. For me, it's my man over here, Garcia. Um, he hasn't got the best of defensive stats, but he's going to be my dropper back. Uh, I've got a five-star skiller over here in Acosta. Um, I've got Shea on the wing, which is quite poor. He will get subbed off eventually. Um, I've got Etienne Jr., who's not too bad. Four-star skills, decent pace. Uh, I have got Johnson up top, and then I have got um, Reina as my uh, as my center forward in an objective like this knowledge of your players knowledge of your uh, of your tactics and whatnot will help you so much more than just playing super aggressive now you'll find a lot of people that do first goal wins in my opinion that will be beneficial because it will be a lot quicker for you if you're trying to do it quickly obviously if you want to play and grind it out then uh, then you can slog out all your games but in my opinion learn your players so, for example, I need to know he's got four-star weak foot and he's right-footed. Uh, you will realize quickly that it's so hard to remember all the silver players and which one's on the ball and whatnot. So, you've got to remember who's who. Now, I know I've got a four-star skiller on the bench in Terry that I can bring on who's decent. Uh, I've got Dennis on the bench who is also decent. Four-star skills very quick. Um, I've got a decent centre mid on the bench that I can bring on. Um, I've got a decent left-back that I can bring on. I've got a decent centre-back that I can bring on who's actually got decent stats. Berlin as well on the bench, or Oberlin, sorry, uh, who I've got on the bench. Like, And I've got that Baluta card who actually has that special card, uh, the, the Europa League one. You've got to really know your players um, because a lot of people will actually have a disadvantage because they won't know their silver players very well and they'll you know go for weak foot shots and stuff like that so if the more you know your players i think the more you'll benefit from it like you've got to know who's got skill moves um who's got weak foot etc uh just learn the players make sure you study your players before you go into the game just to know who is who um how tall both your center backs are uh, i know in this setup i've got a six foot one and a five foot ten 
his win isn't as tall, but he's got decent pace. Um, and Abubakar is a little bit taller with a little bit better in terms of physical stats. So it will be difficult because Silvers, for some reason, EA don't class them as actual real footballers. They are very, very bad in game, but just slog it out. You've got to, you've got to learn your players and you'll have the best advantage. Now, in terms of what I'm playing, I'm playing very similar in terms of my custom tactics. I'm playing press after possession loss, five width for depth. Then I'm playing long ball because I feel like people will attack a lot. And they won't actually set very many custom tactics. So they won't have the left back and right back to stay back while attacking. And I think that in this formation, you can abuse the wings very easily. Um, so you can just hoof the ball up with a silver and you're straight running through on goal. It's something that I've done a lot, both in foot champs and in uh, in different objectives and whatnot. Uh, playing super uh, super high width, high players in the box. Um, and then I'm going with getting behind, stay forward, getting behind, stay forward. Uh, stay forward, stay wide, getting behind. Uh, get forward, cover center. Stay back, stay back while attacking, uh, cover center stay forward stay wide get in behind uh stay back while attacking and stay back while attacking in my opinion this is probably the best option for you um if you're going to build a formation similar they're the custom tactics i would personally go for uh you want your your silver players constantly putting pressure on because you know silver players tend to make a lot of mistakes when they've got pressure on them um it's hard to pass passes will be off target etc so in my opinion that's what it is now of course i would build a better team than this i personally obviously can't use the transfer market if you can build a better team than this in my opinion, it's a very good card. I would probably put a little bit of coinage into it and just try it. Um, if you could put in like 50, 60, 70,000 coins, I would personally go for it and give it a go. So that is my team. And, uh, and hopefully you guys have good luck in the online single. The third and final one is Totsu. So it seems yeah, you're listening to us a little bit. Uh, it's assist using Spanish players in nine separate rival wins. At least it's not defenders is all I'm saying. Now, this Suso card as well looks like a very good card. If you've got a Spanish or Serie A team and you're looking for a right-sided player, maybe you haven't got the best right-sided player, the card, in my opinion, looks very, very decent. Uh, he's got decent in-game stats. I believe he's got four-star skills. Um, he's got some, some decent stats across board. So he's got four-star skills, three-star weak foot. Um, decent pace stats apart from sprint speed. not like amazing in comparison, but it's decent. Uh, great dribbling passing uh, stats. His shooting stats are not bad as well. Pretty decent. Uh, 99 stamina, 72 strength. Uh, he is 5'9". In my opinion, if, if anything else, it's a 91 rated card that you can submit. And it's not going to be as difficult as usual. Now, what I will personally be doing for this it's very very simple i'll be putting bruja on and just playing a load of rivals games now i highly recommend you guys do the same not putting bruja on but just getting yourself a spaniard that you can slice into your squad or slot into your squad uh, if i was to look at spaniards i've got in my club right now um straight away i could probably bring on I don't know. I could probably put a Cesc Fabregas in there somewhere. I could maybe change it up and put Rodrigo up top because uh, he gets a link with my Messi. Um, just find players that are Spanish that fit into your squad and the, the way you play and just work with them, really. That, that's as simple as it is. Just work with what you've got or what you can get and try and fit them into your team. It, it's not rocket science. You know, it's pretty easy. Of course, like I said, I am very much uh, privileged to benefit from having a God squad. But, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world if you can't do it. So they are my uh, my my recommendations, my tips, my everything like that, my, 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 my advice for getting these players quickly. Now, in terms of squad battles as well, I will go into, sorry, not squad battles, uh, in terms of foot swap, sorry. Um, you can kill a few birds with one stone. So uh, this one is score using tots plays in three separate rival matches. This one is incredibly easy. Um, and what you can do is if you get yourself like a Zaniolo or someone like that, if you don't have a tots player already, which I'm, I'm assuming most of you guys already do. Um, what I would personally do is, by the way, uh, this doesn't work for tots moments players. It's only team of the season players. Um, you can bash this out whilst trying to do the suit objective at the same time. It won't be too difficult to kill two birds with one stone there. Uh, win four score balls matches with a max rating of 80. If you if you are confident and you're getting easy teams in your refreshes, you can do this in in conjunction with doing, for example, uh, the team of the season. Uh, what is the what's his name? Zaniolo. Uh, you can do this in conjunction with doing team of the season Zaniolo. Uh, you just have to make your team 80 rated uh, and 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 get the assist with the Italians and they assist 10 goals using MLS players in squad battles. Again, uh, this one could be done in conjunction with the other ones. You could get the uh, MLS Giovinco. You're gonna struggle to get him. I think he's extinct. But you can try and get him and you'll be able to do them in conjunction. Or you can just do these two in conjunction. Um, you can do them all. You can smash them all at the same time. It's pretty easy. Um, and in terms of, of this one, you don't even have to win the game. So if you're not doing either of these objectives and, and you want to get the foot swap steel player, you don't even have to win the game. You can literally just go constant pressure, all that attack, score a goal, and then 
play the game out and if you lose you've still done the objective you know or you still tick one off so they are my tips if you have enjoyed the video leave a like down below thank you all for watching that team of seasons looks incredible bro they, like, those players look so good i'm so excited for rewards i'm so excited for sunday i'm so excited for tuesday let's go it's tuesday for the guaranteed SBCs. i'm excited so thank you all for watching and i'll see you later